What's going on guys, Gitchy1230 here with the 10th episode of GTA 5 Talk, and today's topic was submitted by Darnell Nugent, and he said, Do you think you could break into houses and take things like TVs, money, etc? Well, Darnell Nugent, that is a great question, so that is the topic of this video. So as we all know, Rockstar is adding a lot more things to do this time around, more so than any other Grand Theft Auto before. There are going to be a lot more side activities besides the missions. So then that's kind of where this question comes into play. Will we be able to break and enter into random houses and steal things? Uh, personally, I think that would be a very cool addition. Um, you can already kill people and take their money, but what if you could be all stealthy, go around yards at night, find a window to slip into and sneak around somebody's house, and maybe they could add a, a certain challenge to it. Like maybe if you make too much noise, you'll wake up the people sleeping inside the house, and then that's when the big guy sleeping upstairs comes down with a barbed wire baseball bat and tells you to get out of his house, or he just kills you first. But uh, <laughs> I really think that would be a cool side mission. Um, like previous Grand Theft Autos had the vigilante missions, which were totally separate from the story, but they were just just fun things to do on the side and you could kind of progress through them and they were just full of action and they were fun so this would be not so direct and full of action but kind of a like I said before a stealth mission kind of assassin feel where you're really just creeping around and trying to score big maybe steal some jewelry a TV VCR just typical things that are stolen and robberies. I don't really know. I've never been robbed before, but I imagine that uh, it would be a really neat and fun way to make money in Grand Theft Auto V, because as we all know, money is going to play a lot more important role in Grand Theft Auto V, more so than ever before, so maybe uh, acquiring money is going to be a lot more important. Because I don't know about you guys, but in GTA 4, I had cash out the ass. I mean, I, I always just had thousands and thousands of dollars. There was really no incentive for me to make any more money, because if there was anything that I wanted to buy, I just had so much excess that really it, there was no challenge. There was no financial challenge anyway. I just feel like they need to make money tighter and feel more earned when you get it. It's just, it was too simple to have in GTA 4. So I think that's why the idea of robbing houses and breaking in and stuff like that could really kind of be a cool new addition, and as I keep saying, just add a new element. Now, obviously the risk would have to be high. You can't just get away with a one star wanted level if you get caught. Personally, I think that uh, maybe three stars or something like that, because, um, I don't know, obviously breaking and entering isn't as big of a deal as murder, but there has to be some sort of thing that scares you, you know, something that maybe makes you hesitant to get caught. If it's too easy to get away, then, you know, you can be as loud as you want and just screw around with it. But they need to make it challenging and um, practical and realistic. Uh, I think those are the three key points. And if they don't do those three things, then it's just not going to feel natural and not going to feel right. So, guys, I, I feel like I kind of explored this topic pretty well. Please tell me what you think, as always. Do you think breaking and entering and robbing will be in GTA 5? Do you want it to be in GTA 5? How do you feel about all this? And as always, suggest your topics for future videos. And thumbs up the ones that you like so we have more topics for future GTA 5 talk episodes. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. I had fun with this topic. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. So I will see you next time. And if any of you actually care about the outcome of this race, um, I end up getting 4th out of 8, but it goes on for like 5 more minutes yet, and it's actually kind of boring gameplay, so I'm not even going to bother showing it. But uh, yeah, I get 4th, but I doubt any of you actually care. <laughs> okay, see ya.